The overall goal of this procedure is to demonstrate how to use the Comet chip to perform high-throughput DNA damage measurements in mammalian cells. This is accomplished by first loading mammalian cells into the Comet chip. The second step is to treat cells with chemicals that are known to cause DNA damage. Next, the cells are lysed and electrophoresed using traditional comet assay protocols. The final step is fluorescence imaging of cellular DNA to visualize the migration of damaged DNA. Ultimately, image analysis software is used to quantify the extent of DNA damage. So the Comet assay has been around for a really long time and it's a very useful assay for looking at lots of different kinds of DNA damage. But the problem has been that it's really low throughput and it uh, lacks sensitivity. So we created the Comet chip, which basically is a very high throughput version of the Comet assay um, that makes it possible to do high throughput screening for drug screening, for example, and for epidemiological studies. Jing Ji, a graduate student in my laboratory, will be demonstrating the procedure. The Coma chip is a gel with an array of microwells produced from a microfabricated stamp with microposts with diameters that are as small as that of a single cell. To begin, place into a one-well rectangular plate gel bond, film side down. After washing the gel twice in 25 milliliters in 1x PBS, set the Coma chip on a glass plate, then label the orientation of the gel accordingly. Now, gently press an inverted bottomless 96-well plate.